Yo, what's going on, people? It's Colour Mace from the Central Club Podcast. I hope you're all doing well. We've all had a great week. It's Sunday evening. We've just wrapped up another episode at the podcast. And also, Liverpool beat Tottenham. So, hopefully, on to bigger and better things. On to the podcast. Yeah, thank you, Deborah Thomas, for coming on. If you haven't watched that, go check that out. Deborah Thomas is the sister of Di Morris, the man who was sentenced to life for the Clinic Murders. There's an actual Sky original called Murder in the Valley. And there's many other documentaries that has covered this murder the reason it's so controversial is because straight from the get-go uh people didn't think Di Morris committed the murder but he was the one who was given the life sentence and sadly he passed away just over a year ago now in Long Latin prison at the medical hatch people say it's mysterious circumstances who knows I met Deborah Thomas a couple weeks back and we got into filming and what a brave woman to come on and share her side because there's many lives have been wrecked through this case and i just want to say a big big thank you to deborah i hope you get the peace and justice you deserve whatever that may look like i can't say for certain who done it i don't think di morris was the killer i'll put it out there i don't think di morris was the killer at all i've spoken to a lot of people and people say you know i knew di morris these are people from swansea who have said i knew di morris you know he was a bit of a boy bit of a naughty boy but he weren't a killer and i see the same consistencies within within the Cardiff the Lynette White killing you know a lot of people would say John Acty he was a boy he was a, a naughty boy on the roads but he weren't a murderer so it's funny it's um canny and canning is that the word I think I don't know but there is consistency there do you see what I mean if you haven't watched that podcast go check it out we've had a great reaction already and hopefully that will get up to the masses anyway how's everyone doing YouTube's been a bit of a mad one I'm not really going to get into it but I've seen the Decker saga kick off again I've seen Darren G and Danny Christie back at each other what's going on like do you know what i mean for you guys it's entertaining it's, it's entertainment at the end of the day but these are all fully grown men i can see that some people are trying to do the right thing but they're getting dragged back, back into this youtube dramas and it's just not worth it i think it is sad the way things are going right now if you don't like decker heggy and you think he's a wrong and just stop promoting him it's as simple as that anyway that's my piece on that just so aaron carter died if any of you remember aaron carter i think he was like a pop star from america his brother was part of the backstreet boys nick carter it's funny because i've been watching a lot of aaron Carter interviews over the last couple of years he's done a few controversial ones on no jumper he's clearly got a drug problem another one of those hollywood kids pop stars who have gone down the wrong road and unfortunately it's led into him passing away so another video where i'm saying rest in peace to another american artist fucking crazy anyway quickly uh let you know what's going on next week we've got derek diablo if you don't know who derek diablo is he is an american football hooligan well so he says this guy's a legend honestly we had a great watch we had a great uh interview we also done a documentary which will be going out in a couple of weeks time but i just want to let you all know that this sunday coming up now we have got derek diablo's podcast do not want to miss this podcast Trust me this guy is hilarious this guy is intelligent and he's got a lot to say about a lot of things so make sure you tune into that as well okay leave a short and sweet big thank you deborah thomas again go check out that podcast i'll see you soon stay central